This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's Daily News Digest. Here's what you need to know today. One Azerbaijani soldier was wounded in an exchange of fire between Armenian and Azerbaijani units yesterday afternoon that came after an Armenian shepherd inadvertently crossed the border while looking for his flock. That's according to Armenia Security Services, which first reported the incident near the village of Nerkin Khanzoresk in the country's southernmost Sunik region. Armenian border troops are ready for a joint investigation with Azerbaijani border troops. Regardless, Armenian border troops will also conduct their own investigation, the National Security Service said in a statement. The shepherd and his flock both returned to Armenia unharmed, it added. For its part, Azerbaijan State Border Service named the wounded soldier as First Lieutenant Rovshan Mamadov and said he was receiving medical treatment without specifying his condition. It marks the first injury reported by either side since a series of near-daily cross-border shooting incidents that began late last week, including in other areas of Sunik as well as in Armenia's eastern Gahar Kunik region and northeastern Davush region. In other defense news, Armenia plans to send a military attaché to its embassy in the United Kingdom, while India will reportedly appoint its own defense attaché to its diplomatic mission in Yerevan. In a statement today, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan confirmed his cabinet had approved a proposal to send an Armenian military attaché to London, as cooperation in the field of defense continues to expand year by year. Meanwhile, India's The Print newspaper reported yesterday that country intends to post defense attachés to its embassies in Armenia and a number of other countries, mostly in Africa, citing unnamed people familiar with with the matter. Civilnet was not able to independently confirm that news. A military attaché is typically a high-ranking military officer or defense expert attached to an embassy to serve as a representative of their country's army overseas and work to improve their country's international security relations. Late last year, Armenia and the United Kingdom formally launched a strategic dialogue program, while in recent years India has emerged as a key source of arms and other forms of military technology for the country. The United States may provide Armenia with armored ambulances as part of ongoing defense discussions between Yerevan and Washington. That's according to the U.S. Ambassador to Armenia, who confirmed the news to RFERL's Armenian service in an interview published today. We have an ongoing discussion about what Armenia might need in the military sector. We have already agreed on several things. I can single out one of those agreements. Armenia asked for armored ambulances. We have already agreed to move forward on this, Christina Kavin told Radio Azatutun, without providing a timeline or any additional details. Continuing, Kavin refused to rule out future U.S. participation in the European Union's border monitoring mission in Armenia, telling Radio Azatutun, As of now, we do not plan to participate, but of course, we do not rule out anything for the future. Yesterday, Pashinyan revealed he is considering asking the EU to continue monitoring the border through the end of 2026. The mission's current mandate is set to end early next year. Armenia remains the most democratic country in the South Caucasus, despite the fact that Azerbaijan's military continues to threaten Armenia's existence, the Washington-based nonprofit Freedom House has determined. In the latest edition of its annual Nations in Transit report published today, Freedom House found that democracy in Armenia regressed somewhat in the last year, though overall, Armenia remains slightly more democratic than neighboring Georgia. In the broader Eurasia region, only Moldova and Ukraine rank higher than Armenia in terms of democracy indicators, according to Freedom House. Nevertheless, the nonprofit warned today Armenia's democratic gains are under serious threat writing, Absent any credible deterrence, there is an obvious potential for more authoritarian aggression in the Caucasus. Moscow has effectively abdicated as the area's security guarantor, leaving Armenia in a race against the clock to secure new alliances in the democratic world. To that point, you can also check out the latest episode of Civilnet's weekly Insights series. This week, host Eric Hakopian breaks down last week's historic Armenia-EU-US summit and much more. The full broadcast is up now on our website and YouTube channel. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 120. That's the number of paintings up now on display in Armenia's National Gallery as part of a new exhibit on Armenian and European modernism, according to director Marina Hakopian, who opened the showcase this week. The exhibit runs until May 5th. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.